Hello everyone, it is Christine here and I'm back for Stitchmas or um, crafts in the lead up to Christmas that you can try yourself um, using and repurposing goodies and today we'll be repurposing our fabric scraps into these little baubles that we're then going to use to stuff um, natural pine cones. So you can often find, I think in lots of parts of the world, um, these ones I've collected from Alpine Victoria. And then you'll need your scrap jar, which I think most of us who um, do stitching and other things have. So here's some lovely um, fabric that I've been using recently, some little upholstery fabric bits and pieces, some um, linen. So I'll grab those out because I need a bit of stuffing as well as some um, fabric to wrap around to make my baubles. So let's start by making a bauble. So what you'll need is some little scraps of fabric around this size, some other scraps that can be smaller that you'll use for your, your stuffing. So, and we'll also need to thread a needle and have it ready to go. So let's do that. So I'll just show you the making of one of the baubles and then we can stuff a um, pine cone with my other baubles. So I shared this a year ago, but I didn't do the final step that I'm going to show you um, in tonight's video. So I thought I'd come back and do a retake of it. So what I'm going to do is grab some of my little bits of upholstery fabric and just sort of fold them in on themselves to start to make a little bally shape and then I might use one of my bits of linen to wrap around them and again just fold that in a little bit and then I'll do the same and I'll just try to fold the um, sort of the raw edges in to the extent I can. It doesn't have to be perfect because the stitches are, are pretty much going to hold it anyway. So I'm just making a bit like you'd wrap a present sort of. So we're going to start with a, a shape that looks pretty much I guess more like a square. Then we'll take our threaded needle and I'm going to then just start um, putting in stitches across the piece to start cinching it in on the back. So starting to pull the corners in. So you need a decently strong thread. This is a vintage thread, so hopefully it will, will hold. We'll find out soon enough if it's not that good at holding. And you just wanna be kind of putting stitches in so that you're pulling your little bauble nice and nice and tight. But don't worry too much because this is all going to be at the back of it. So it doesn't have to be a super, super neat stitching job. You're really just trying to get a bally shape through the stitches that you apply. And I like to use a nice big um, needle just because it's easy to push through. Seems to be a bit less work on the, the fingers. So you're not really going through all the layers of the, um, the stuffing. And you could obviously use um, the proper, the proper um, fill stuffing, but I end up with so many scraps, I take any opportunity to, to use those. I tend to use my scraps as stuffing, the bits that aren't as, as pretty. Well, it's so funny with scraps. I um, was starting to lay out one of my next stitchery swap squares last night and I'd just been happened to be um, yeah, sorting out a few things and um, picking up a few things off the floor and I found this one little bit of lace and I was like, oh, that's perfect. And so this little piece of lace that had been abandoned and fallen on the floor um, just happened to be the perfect addition to the little piece I was laying out. I'll probably share, start the work on that piece next and but you won't get to see that video till it gets to its recipient. So that's probably going to be a ways off. It's got to travel halfway around the world. I received the most lovely package in the post today um, from a dear stitchy friend. Um, such a thoughtful package. You'll probably, um, I won't, won't show her package on, on video, but I will definitely be using um, the contents of her package in um, one of my upcoming videos for my treasure hunt piece. But just the kindest, most lovely people. So thank you, Robin. Um, yeah, you absolutely made my day, made my week. So, so, so very thoughtful. Stitchy people are the best people. 
So I think that's probably enough stitching. It's holding nicely, so I'm just going to put a knot in in place. And as I say, it doesn't have to be a work of art on the back, but I actually think stitching can look quite pretty anyway. You could obviously do more stitching on these baubles if you wanted to on the front of them, but yeah, it's really for me just a quick little um, activity to make some nice little table decorations or hanging um, items for the tree. So let's pick ourselves one. I've already put one in this, but we can probably... And so what I like to do before I put um, some glue on them, and glue is what I didn't use last time, and what I found was that they sometimes, when they were lifted up or moved around because I had them as table decorations, I actually had them as little name, um, name holders last time on the table. So I had like the little, little tags, That's, that was my mum's um, tag in there. Um, but as people were lifting them up and playing with them, I found some of the little um, ones that I thought were quite securely stuffed in were actually popping out. So this time around, I'm actually going to put a dob of craft glue on them as I add them into the, into the pine cone. And I need to put a bit of that glue just around the sort of um, the sides because sometimes the back doesn't um, totally touch when I put it in. So where was I going to put that one? And at least this glue dries clear so but you want to get a bit of the glue just holding it holding it in place and then we can just work our way around um, adding a little little baubles again I'll just put a bit on there Um, with these pine cones, um, I think some people wash them and then dry them in the oven to make sure there's no little critters. I just put mine in a bag and um, I think I put them in the freezer actually and then just, yeah, let them dry in the sun. Um, and I haven't had any issues with little critters. Just putting a bit of glue on and then just squeezing them in. As you can see, because these um, pine cones are probably now two years old, they are a little bit more fragile, so they do tend to sometimes yeah, bend a little bit in the process, but I don't think that will be too much of an issue. So it's good to make your baubles all different, different sizes because all the different holes are different sizes. And that way you'll have something to, something to fit everywhere. And if you use all different fabric scraps, then you'll have a nice selection to, to play with. So I hope you're having a great day or a great evening. Hope you're crafting. Let me know if you've got some Christmas crafts that you're working on at the moment. Don't even know what craft I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm just letting my sort of my ideas come and just spontaneously jumping onto them. I've had some really fun ones so far. So if you haven't um, seen those videos, check do check it out. I just try and spread the different colours around as well, different patterns. And so once I've arranged all these, I'll just let them sort of um, dry. Um, Or doing anything else with it. That one seems to have gone on in on at a slightly weird angle, so I might just move it around a bit. That's better. Just giving it a little prod. Nice little check. Nice wool fabric, very dense fabric. And if you have more fabric of it in a single scrap, you can actually just fold that in and have that be its own stuffing as well. So that's another possibility too. Look where I want 
to fit the pieces in and so you just want to sort of adjust your pick the pieces based on the size that you've got for a spot I've done one of those already have I done one of these nope Sometimes you might want to try and sort of pre-fit something and see if it's going to squeeze in where you want to put it. So you definitely could have some of these smaller ones as well. That's the nice big ones. Wanting to just slip in on the side angle, but I'm going to position it where I want it. A bit more like that. And again, I might just grab my needle and get it to help me in the task. There we go. Got this little one with gold on it, a gold stripe. Some more of this fabric glue from Kmart, it's quite good. Now, have I done one of these? Nope. Oops, there are lovely little um, wool felt samples as well. All sorts of goodies from the reverse art truck. blue and white and silver check there's a white and black so yeah any scraps go you might want to stick to color theme or you might want to go crazy like I have for me the the fun is in using up scraps because that jar is not my only um, collection of scraps, but I do like to get them into use. My craft door, um, craft room door features a lovely scrappy snail made out of tiny micro mosaic scraps. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out too. You could adapt the idea to any shape really. It doesn't have to be a snail, but I wanted to make my slow stitch snail. So I probably need a larger one in here. What have I got that I haven't used? Use that one. Got that fabric already. Oh, I've used that one down there. I don't think I've used this plain green, so I might use that in there. You'll be amazed how many of these little baubles you actually need to stuff even a, a nice little baby pine cone like this. And you can obviously do this on the large format pine cones as well. You'll just need bigger baubles and I guess more of them as well. I'm just having a look around to see which ones I haven't used. I don't think I've used that one. I don't think I've used my pink and blue. Well, it's almost red and blue, maybe. A bit of a tartan, I think. Oops, trying to fall off. Might need to put just a smidge more glue in there just to make sure that stays anchored. So it's a bit more of a gap. use this tiny little green one in that little gap there but you can um, also leave it with you don't have to sort of fill up all the gaps you can have them 
I guess a bit more like these ones where they were a bit more spread out. Just do whatever is pleasing to your eye. Grab this one. And you can repeat some of the colours. I was just trying to get as much variety to start with. There we go. Don't know if I've done this one yet either. greens on this side so oh that's a green tartan it's a little gap there and I've already used that one I'll use that this one's a silk with a little floral on it but we can't really see the floral it's funny when you recognise your scraps. Where do I put that one? someone that hates having glue on your fingers or you don't mind it this would be the one to have a little wet face face washer so you don't have to waste little um, hand wipes a wet face washer does a great job although I do know some people um, save their hand wipes and then actually use them and dye them as though they're a fabric which is interesting I haven't tried that myself this one's white and red like a candy cane Another one up in there, I think. I haven't got a silver around this side. And what do I want to put up the top? Oh, a blue and white. Haven't done that. little one in up here Put a good amount of glue on that one to hold that in and then we've still got a few gaps down here so we'll squidgy a few more in So you could just make these little baubles while you're watching TV, watching some Christmas movies. You could even make them throughout the year when you've got some scraps and then have them ready to stuff some decorations. So if you use them for the stuffing as well or just use the single piece of fabric and keep sort of folding it over, you can actually use up a lot of, a lot of scraps because they are densely, densely rolled balls. Some of them can be a bit of a squeeze to get in, but should be okay. Now I'm thinking I need a small one for in there. most delicious dinner tonight I made a soy honey pepper beef sort of Asian style it was delicious okay let's pop oh I don't think I've had this oh maybe I did have that tartan I think it was with blue though not with grey This 
this one I want to do fully fully stuffed to give you the full effect. I wonder if I can squeeze that one in there. It's a lovely woven red and white. Can I get it squeezed in? Let's see. Again, I might use my no, I need to use my actual scissors to give it a bit of a push down. I think that's well attached in now. So I am pretty happy. Um, oh, there's probably one little gap around there. What colour do we need for that? Not silver. Might actually steal one from over here. So there we go, that is our sweet little Christmas um, pine cone decoration. And then um, you'll just want to put a little hanger on it. Um, I'll use the same um, vintage crochet yarn that I used for the hanger for the little angel that we made yesterday. And all we'd probably need to do, um, actually, once the once the glue sets, it's actually probably going to be better to actually put the hanger through um, the little baubles. I think, as long as they're securely attached with glue, then that will um, help to hold hold um, the hanger. So I think the glue should have been starting to set. So I'll just put a stitch like that and I might also just wrap it wrap it around and in fact I probably should make it into a loop first so maybe I'll just do a loop like that and then I can always um, yeah, add a bit more glue if I need to just glue the twine onto the actual pine cone too. Got all those flaky gluey fingers because I didn't, um, as I suggested, um, bring a face washer in to wipe my fingers. Just... There we go. It's got a nice little hanger um, and as long as these ones are securely um, glued in or you could put it loop it around um, probably actually if you were going to add it at first before you put the baubles in you'd loop it around a lower um, layer and tie it nice and tightly and then when you stick the baubles in that would hold your little loop in place but it's also going to work perfectly this way and there we go bit of fun a colorful retro vintage um, stuffed pine cone um, and you can also, if you want to, before you um, stuff the pine cones, you can paint them silver or white or gold or even just little white tips like um, snow on it. In Australia, we don't get snow at Christmas time. Um, so I'm happy with just this little, yeah, pine cone uh, treasure. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you are enjoying my little Christmas crafts, trying to keep them nice and nice and short and um, simple. Um, it will take you a bit of time to make the baubles, um, so it's probably not totally a 20 minute craft, but, uh, but yeah, it's only taken me 20 minutes to make one bauble and, and put together um, one of the pine cones. And I almost forgot, well, I actually did forget and didn't show you my advent calendar, my button advent calendar with my Nana's buttons. So I've turned the camera back on just to add this little bit at the end of my video. So we will open the number five. Well, not open it, we'll pop out the button and have a look at Nana's beautiful little vintage button. And this one has a sweet little fleur-de-lis on it, little French symbol um, on a little metal silver dimensional button. It's almost like a filigree design. So that is a very sweet little addition. So they are our five buttons so far and I'll try and remember. Um, I'll have to place it on my desk tomorrow so I remember at the end to show you number six. So take care everyone and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye!